What's up guys, Sandeep here, you're watching Tech Unboxes and this video I will be unboxing Leico Li2 Max. So right here you can see the box, it's totally in black color and the some of the things are printed at the back of the box, right? Like color is gray and it is a 32 gigabyte variant. Now the device comes in two variants. The first one is having 4 gigabytes of RAM with 32 GB internal memory and the second one is having 6 gigabytes of RAM with 64 GB internal memory. So now this currently I am having here is the 32 gigabytes variant and the price quoted on the box is around 25,000 rupees but I got it for 17,000 something from Amazon.in and now if you want to purchase the device from Amazon.com or from the Flipkart I'll give the link in the description below so that you can get yourself one. Now let me unbox this box to show you the device itself and the accessories that comes included in this box. Come on, open up. Okay, it was a bit tight. Right over here you can see the device itself. It's in grey color and this device comes with a silicon case included in the box. You can see this is a silicon case and right over here is the device. Let me power it on. Okay, now it's powered on. And I'll keep it aside till the time it get booted up. I'll show you the accessories of the box. Now removing the tray. First thing we see right over here is the booklet. And it is having. Let me see what it is having. Yeah, it is having a SIM ejector tool written LETV on it. And some quick start guide. So that's going to be a boring stuff. So I won't open it. Now we see here the power adapter. This is a quick charger and reading quick adapter on it and I can't I don't know how to express this quick thing in volts like in other videos it does so for reference you can go for other videos but right now over here I just know that it charges and with my own experience with my Li2 not the Li2 Max but my Li2 it charges in one hour from 0 to 90 percent so that's really great and quick and here is the what it is called it is the USB USB to C type yeah it is USB to C type and we also get a adapter for the headphone jack that is from C type to 3.5 mm jack as this device is not having a 3.5 mm jack so right over here we see all the things let's keep it aside and the box also keep it aside and come back to the device Right over here, you can see allow system update to access your photo media. Yeah, I'll allow that. Now, this is the first boot of the device. Okay, right over here, you can see that it says me to select the language. I'll select English. Okay, now India continue. And the sim, I have not placed the sim currently. Let's keep it. Can't find network. Okay, now it says about the Google services. Next. Yeah, continue. Continue. Now it is telling me to add a fingerprint. Now, right away you can see the fingerprint. Let me remove this thing. Okay, that device. I have removed the silicon case. And here is the thing. This is the fingerprint scanner. Right away I'll put some. Add to start. First, I'll skip it. Now, I won't try it. I'll just skip it. Yeah, continue. That's all correct. Continue. Share the leak wall. Now, it's finished. And this is the first boot of the device. You can see it right over here. But first, I'll tell you the physical specifications of this device. So, right on top, you can see there's an infrared blaster. You can see the front 8 megapixel camera with a front speaker and the sensor and here's the notification LED which is blinking cause this device is not having battery and it's below 5% on the right side of the device you can see the power button and the volume key right over here it's written power and volume I have not peeled off this plastic yet on bottom on bottom you can see two grills one is the speaker and this one is the speaker and this is the microphone and in between them is the C type charger right on the left side you can see this is a sim tray 
and at back of the device you can see the fingerprint scanner along with the 16 megapixel camera and dual LED zone flash right now you can see the dual LED zone flash really legal Li uh, TV on it not the legal Li too so that was the physical specification of the device I'll write back just I need to charge the device as you can see it's not having battery so it will turn off anytime so I just need to charge it wait for me till I come back so guys I'm back with the device and it's charged a bit but it's enough for making a bit of review on it so I'll just quickly just do it like this cause I have not yet set up the fingerprint scanner you can see this is the first boot of the device and all the things this is a leave you and now it's asking all the permissions that are granted for proper working now the same is not there so I cannot toggle, uh, toggle to anything like I can not show you the internet features but I can show you this here are the captive buttons that is back button the home button and this one is used for taking out this list right over here you can see you can toggle between the quick menus right over here and on top you can play the music from right over here these are the three music keys it will not play because I have not yet downloaded any music and I just unboxed it and the best thing you can see right over here out of 4 gigabytes 2.5 gigabytes is available so this is very great for gaming and other stuffs some of the apps which come including in it are good but not that good because they are all on Chinese and here is the live you can view use to view live TVs it has some Sony and some of the things it will also not launch cars and when I have just done it right now unboxing so it's asking all the permissions and all things let me fire the camera as it's a 21 megapixel camera so that's gonna be awesome so here's the camera I will not shoot at anything cause currently I don't have any object to shoot but I'll show you the settings of the camera so going into the settings we see the timer shutter sound and all that which comes in and right here you can see the picture size at 21 megapixel and on 21 megapixel it captures on 4 is to 3 ratio on 16 megapixel it captures with 16 is to 9 and on 8 megapixel it captures into 16 to 9 so on 20 me uh, 21 megapixel you have to do it for 4 is to 3 that is currently now 4 is to 3 and on the 16 megapixel right away you can see now 16 is to 9 that's the full screen Coming to the video, just slide it, slide it like this or this to toggle between the photo mode, camera color mode, slow motion mode or the panorama mode. Right over here you can see this is the video mode and on settings of the video mode it says 1080p that is 16 is to 9. It also records 4k video that is awesome feature in this and it yeah really works great with the Li 2. I have not experienced with this device but I'm gonna soon make a review if you want just comment in below in the comment box so that I can make a review if you want to see it now let me close it put on some bright uh, right over here you can see it's showing me that swipe up to cancel all the apps which are running in the background here you can see the brightness and now let me quickly take you those settings to show you the device specifications Internal specifications yeah so right over here you can see uh, in the settings all the things now I will go in about phone it shows the phone name as Li2 Max and don't go for here the volume I have not yet peeled off the uh, screen guard you can see right over here and I'll peel it afterwards it's running on Android 6.0.1 UI version is 5.8.1 5s I don't know 15s is stable what does that mean uh, for more information and you can go to the Leco official website they are providing there all the things about this device and the CPU is Snapdragon 824 cores that is running on 2.15 gigahertz so that really very good and some of the other informations are also given about this device if you want you can read it all but that's useless because we just need to use mobile to make calls play games and this mobile is yeah best for gaming car in this buzzer ring cause this is having 4 gigabyte of ram and out of that you can see it's exactly showing now 2.2 gigabytes free so that's gonna be a lot of space for gaming Here you can see the files and okay allow 
right over here you can see out of 32 gigabytes we get 23.38 gb available and one sad news about this device is that it doesn't have extendable memory that means you cannot insert any memory sd cards so that's gonna be a problem for some users but those who are happy with 32 uh, gigabytes that means the available space right over here is 23 gigabytes then it's good for them so guys that was it for the unboxing and reviewing of this device Lee Koli 2 Max now if you have any questions regarding to this device you can definitely ask in the comment section below and if you want to make a camera review of this device as I am not willing to but if you want to make just post them in the comments so that I can make a review on this if you want to see now anything left yeah from here you can just toggle between the right here you can see the notification all the notifications comes out like this it's not the Samsung device that you care like this and you will get the options but it's only for the notifications and now it's saying that I have only 9% battery remaining and the battery capacity is 3300 mAh now if you need more information on this device then you can definitely go to its official website that is on the internet and that was the end of this review about the not the review unboxing about the device so I'll make a gaming review also if you want do post them in the comment what you think about the video and please do subscribe to my channel and hit the thumbs up button if you like the video and I really need comments so please comment hope to see you soon in my next video till then bye bye and Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Thank you.